Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to take a trip back to 1994? A time when John Travolta was still cool, Uma Thurman was the ultimate badass, and Samuel L. Jackson was dropping some of the most quotable lines in film history. That's right, we're talking about the cult classic, the genre-bending, the one and only, Pulp Fiction. But this isn't just any ordinary movie, this is a film that redefined the way we think about storytelling, and solidified Quentin Tarantino as a force to be reckoned with in the film industry. Are you ready to dive into the non-linear world of hitmen, drug dealers, and Mia Wallace's $5 milkshake? Buckle up, because this is going to be one wild ride. Alright folks, let's dive into the plot of Pulp Fiction. Now, before we begin, I have to warn you, this movie is not your typical linear narrative. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but with way more drugs, guns, and Travolta dance moves. But don't worry, we'll guide you through the twists and turns of the story. First, we have Vincent Vega and Jules Winfield, two hitmen working for the mysterious Marcellus Wallace. They're on a mission to retrieve a mysterious briefcase, but things take a turn for the weird when they stop at a diner for a bite to eat and end up in a standoff with a couple of armed robbers. Next, we have Vincent and Mia Wallace, Marcellus' wife, who have a wild and crazy night on the town. From snorting drugs to dancing at Jack Rabbit Slims, they're the epitome of the phrase one wild night. And finally, we have Butch, a boxer who's supposed to throw a fight but instead decides to go all Rocky Balboa on his opponent. This leads to a series of events that will have you on the edge of your seat. So there you have it folks, a brief overview of the non-linear storyline of Pulp Fiction. It's like a game of connect the dots, but instead of pictures, it's hitmen, drug dealers, and killer dance moves. Trust us, it's worth the ride. Pulp Fiction is a film that covers a variety of themes, but the most prominent are crime, redemption, and the blurred lines between good and evil. The crime theme is evident throughout the film as it takes place in the criminal underworld of Los Angeles. The film follows a group of criminal characters, including hitmen, drug dealers, and gangsters, as they navigate their way through their criminal activities. The film also explores the darker side of the criminal world, such as drug addiction and violence, and the consequences that come with it. The theme of redemption is also prevalent in the film, particularly in the characters of Vincent and Mia. Vincent, a hitman, is shown to have a softer side and a moral compass, which is evident in his reluctance to kill Mia, his boss's wife. Mia, on the other hand, is shown to be a drug addict and party girl, but she also has a moment of redemption when she chooses to save Vincent's life. This theme of redemption highlights that even the most flawed characters can change and make better choices. The theme of blurred lines between good and evil is also present in the film, as the characters are not entirely good or evil. The film's non-linear narrative highlights this theme as it shows how the same characters can act differently in different situations. Vincent and Jules, for example, are hitmen, but they also have a sense of morality and a code of ethics. This theme highlights that the line between good and evil is not always clear and that people can be complex and multifaceted. And finally, we have pop culture references. This movie is like a love letter to the movies, it's filled with references to everything from Halloween to The Living Dead. It's a reminder that the movies we love shape us and the way we see the world. So there you have it for the themes of Pulp Fiction. It's not just a movie, it's a reflection of the world we live in, and it's a reminder that even in the darkest of places, there's always hope. Alright, now that we've covered the plot and themes, it's time to talk about the man behind the madness, the one and only, Quentin Tarantino. Now, if you're a fan of his work, you know that he's not your typical filmmaker, he's in a league of his own. And Pulp Fiction is a prime example of that. First, we have his unique storytelling style. As we mentioned earlier, the non-linear narrative of this film is unlike anything that had been done before. It's a bold choice that pays off in spades. It keeps the audience on their toes and adds an extra layer of intrigue to the story. Next, we have his dialogue. The script of Pulp Fiction is like a work of art. It's witty, it's smart, and it's full of memorable quotes. The dialogue is what makes the characters come to life, and it's a big reason why this film is so iconic. And finally, we have his directing style. From the iconic dance scene to the adrenaline-fueled finale, the film is directed with a keen eye for detail and an expert sense of pacing. 
It's a masterclass in filmmaking that's still being studied today. The style of Quentin Tarantino is bold and unique, and it's what made Pulp Fiction the classic that it is today. He's not just a filmmaker, he's a visionary, and this film is a testament to that. And there you have it folks, a trip down memory lane with Pulp Fiction. It's a film that redefined the way we think about storytelling, and solidified Quentin Tarantino as a force to be reckoned with in the film industry. From its non-linear narrative to its iconic dialogue, this film is a true classic that stands the test of time. If you haven't seen it, we highly recommend you check it out, and if you have, watch it again, you'll be surprised at how much you missed the first time around. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more movie reviews and analysis. Thanks for watching.